A West Sacramento woman says she's distraught after a majority of her personal belongings were destroyed following a rat infestation at a storage facility. Now she's calling on the company to make things right. Fox 40's Gina Nguyen shares her message in hopes of preventing anyone else from having to go what th through what she has. It was supposed to be a fresh start for Monet Blas and her kids as they were getting ready to move into a new home. It was obvious that there had been pests. At the beginning of the year, Blas rented out a climate-controlled storage unit from StoreQuest in West Sacramento. I did a lot of research, and when I found their climate-controlled option, I thought that would protect my things. But when Blas came back to the storage facility here just a couple months later, she noticed that a majority of her things were either damaged or completely destroyed. There was fecal matter scattered all over it. Um, I had an office chair in the entryway of the storage and the chair had been stained. You could just see animal droppings everywhere. That's when she approached the on-site manager. Her response was, yeah, we have a rat problem. And there was actually like a, term, a pest control guy on site with her. Blas ended up leaving her things in the unit for a couple more months. And when she went back just last weekend, she noticed the pest problem hadn't been fixed. That's when a rat jumped out of one of the boxes. Blas lost about $10,000 worth of her belongings. Handmade gifts from my kids from when they were in preschool and kindergarten. And while she understands the company is not responsible for her items, she believes they should have at least told her about the problem. The company's website promises to keep things in the same shape they arrive and that their customers' stuff matters. I believe caring about my things would mean if there's a problem, you call me. Blas says the company has offered to cover about 25% of what she lost, but she has yet to agree to their offer. In West Sacramento, Jeannie Nguyen, Fox 40 News.